Good morning. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, hope you're ready for this week. I'm trying to get motivated here. Believe it or not, I'm dragging a little bit this morning, but I'm picking up the steam. So, um, quick tip here. Um, some people are looking to buy homes, and, and some people, a lot of people are. And it's going to be the first home or it could be the second home and, and so forth. When you get a tax refund, if you're getting one, uh, and I'm speaking mainly to the first time home buyers here, set that aside if you're looking to purchase a home. Let us take a look at it. Let us, let us analyze your finances. Let's, let's get you pre-approved. And that could be the, the deciding factor in you getting a house or not. Because if you put in an offer for 100% financing, it's going to be very difficult sometimes in this market because there's five or six different offers right behind it. Some people are putting some more money down. Now, there's a difference between 100% finance... 100% financing for a veteran compared to somebody who's getting a first-time home buyer 100% financing. The the track record of veterans are so much better with 100% financing than it is with any other type of financing. Even conventional would put some you know putting some money down. So if you get a tax refund, use that for your down payment, use that for the purchase of the house if you can you know obviously get get pre-approved. That's that's very important. Um, instead of trying to get 100% financing and then trying to outbid other people and, and so forth, uh, the, you know, the sellers have become very, very educated in this market. They know they, they can call their shots right now. Now, that eventually will turn, but right now, anything to try to give you an edge over somebody else, uh, try to put some money into the transaction for a first-time homebuyer program versus, say, 3.5% down FHA or 5% down conventional. Now, like I said, with VA, it's a little bit different because, because veterans have been uh, outperforming for years, conventional loans, FHA loans, you know, first-time homebuyer type of loans. They, even with 100% financing, their, their track records, their average credit score um, is, is been, has been phenomenal. So it's a little bit different with that compared to a first-time homebuyer trying to get 100% financing. So just a little tip. If you get any money back, put it aside. Don't spend it. Don't, you know... <laughs> don't go out to eat every night. I, I love going out to eat, believe me. Uh, but, you know, just put it aside for, um, you know, try to try to get that edge, you know, and try to get that house, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, just let me know. Shoot a comment down below. Shoot a private message to me or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Have a great Monday. Have a great week. If you need anything, just let me know. Talk to you soon.